Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Nadlan, broadcasting to you from the East Coast of New York, giving you daily updates from real estate entrepreneurs so you can become one yourself. And today we have post number five from our entrepreneur of the week, Saar Litmanovic, about easy habits for constant improvement that anyone can do. So who are we? Nadlan is providing real estate courses, mentoring, financing, deal analysis, and great deal offerings. If you like our content, please give us a thumbs up, register to our channel, and hit the notification button so you can get an alert when we publish new content. It will make sure you get notified about every new video we post and will also help others find our content. And you are also welcome to find us on Facebook, social networks, and on our website, forumrealestateusa.com. So let's get started. All right, guys, post number five from Saar Litmanovic. Easy habits for constant improvements. All right, so this is the picture of the post. All right, you see long, long list of things to do. 54, 34, 31. All right, so let's get back to the post. All right. Hey, so what if I told you there was a way to get better at just about anything at a fast pace and on a regular basis? What if I told you that anyone can do it provided they commit to a number of simple habits which take no more than a minute a day and once a week for about a quarter of an hour? Yes, I'm talking about interrogations. Part of the point of being excellent is to be excellent as usual. Being excellent, acting well, and promoting on a point-by-point -point basis does not lead us to success, but only promotes us actually. Success comes over time while maintaining standards and routines of excellence that advance us over time. Our habits and routines make us who we are. We talked about a personal commitment to continuous self-improvement, right? If you invest in yourself the 10 minutes a day, even if you commit to improving yourself by only 1% a day, after a year, you will already improve amazingly. Didn't you say anything about interrogation? Yeah. All right. So I got carried away. In short, invest yourself a little each day. So interrogations, Air Force veterans here will say that in the corps, it is customary to say that an Explore, unexplored flight is considered a flight that seems to have never taken off. A moment of anecdote. In recent years, the Air Force has had an incident that will not be properly investigated for the benefits of veterans who have submitted a request for reinvestigation as it will be answered. Back to us. Interrogations is a wonderful thing that you can learn a lot from. And it does not even require almost any time, just a little focus. Real, but put the phone aside for two minutes. There are lots of variations, and as usual, we have to choose what suits us and our lifespan. What is the common point of all? What every trainee in a pilot course knows how to recite after a week in the course. Looking back on an act, time period, being horribly honest with ourselves, do not be afraid to say we have failed. On the contrary, look for it. Number two, understand what we did well. Points for conversation, conservation. What we did not do well, points for improvement. Number three, look for the root causes of each group, plus think about how to preserve and improve. Number four, set a measurable goal, something that can be said unequivocally whether we succeeded or failed in a specific period of time. An example of a bad destination may calls to new realtor this week, an example of a good measurable goal, to have free introductory talks with free new mediators by next Tuesday. Just know, 
Sir, it sounds cool, but why me? If we regularly, once a day, week or month or year, etc., take your pick, take a look at ourselves and be honest with ourselves about what we did not do properly, we will know to be focused on our efforts and work specifically on what we need to improve on. In this way, there is no possibility that we will not improve over time in these areas, slowly becoming a better and better version of ourselves. So why not actually? The amazing Yael Arad, Olympic champion in judo, tells in one of her lectures that every judoka, in fact any serious athlete, takes the areas he is weak in and works on them the hardest to excel. She tells of an, an important opponent who lost a lot to her and that her opponent has a specific movement that wins her bottles and that the Elorad lost to her like that. Until her next competition with her, she worked the most specific there was on what she realized needed to improve. What she got to the decisive bottle with her her opponent made the same move, but the Elorad was ready. And right in what became her second nature, she avoided the move and knocked her down herself. This time she won. That's how winners win. We must understand, none of these things are something that is decided for us. We have chosen our doing and our goals. And as we move, we understand what we need to improve in order to win our goals. I like to say, sometimes we win and sometimes we learn. Oh, cool. So storm what you're doing. So know that I've been in the habit for a long time. So do not panic. I recommend starting from once a week. Dem demarcate 10 minutes. Look, look at the week that has been. Set goals for next week. Understand what needs to be improved, etc. Daily, two minutes every day. Every day before bed, I invest in making sure the schedule for the next day marking a, a V or an X, usually it is a V, on the goals I set for myself for the day and setting goals for the next day using a notebook. Oh yeah, I only put a roof of three, three out of four goals. Weekly, weekly hour. Every week takes a page from last week. Yes, I use a page and a pen and not a computer. Marks a V or an X on my measurement goals from last week. Set myself new goals for the coming week, plus make sure I have a schedule, turns the page, writes a few lines about the experience of the week, some call it a travel diary, and below impresses myself at the tip of the fork, points for awareness for the coming week. For those interested in personal expansion, I'm doing the four-way analysis of the one and only Gilad Polak. Quarter. Two to three hours once every three months. SWOT analysis, research, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats about me and the business. Refining vision and refining goals for the coming quarter. Refreshing topics for personal awareness for my personal work on myself. Let's just say arrive on time for meetings. Annually, three to four hours. Analysis, research, SWOT about me and the business. Refining the vision and planning a year ahead. Sharpening topics for personal awarenesses. I did not get to it in a day. It all started from two minutes at the end of each day when I wanted to improve in my time management because I could not progress in the curriculum of the training program almost at all, even though I was 100% available to it seeming seemingly. So yes, anyone can. Are you willing to invest 52 hours a year in yourself, or will it only be 12 hours a year out of 8,760 hours? Imagine today you pledge to do 10 minutes a week of interrogation. You found a problematic threat that drives you to succeed. Fast forward forward a year. What fun and what a supreme sense of satisfaction you have when the trait and ability that stuck you most to succeed is now your strength and you move forward to yourself that that is possible remember to be excellent to be successful to thrive over time it's not a matter of being good on a point but to be excellent as usual so how much are you going to invest in yourself tonight in the picture my two-week research pages good luck with understanding the reported 
adios see you tomorrow all right so we see here a picture of all of the notes that Tsar is writing for for himself and checking plus and minus about uh, about everything that he's doing um we can see winning uh um eating right sleeping right and all of this so thank you everyone for today and uh, we will have the last post from Sar tomorrow we can't wait to see the final notes and have a good day bye bye <laughs>